In this lesson, we'll continue our review of writing test nine, section two. We're now on the third passage, wet plate photography, an old technique makes a new splash. We see these brackets, there will be a question about sentence order. Upon the arrival of the digital camera, professional photographers harumped that they produced ugly low resolution images. So question 23, we have a they, what produced the ugly low resolution images? It's certainly not the photographers, it's the camera, the digital camera. This is a singular subject, and so the pronoun should be an it. And so a lot of times there'll be space between the subject and the pronoun, just make sure you match them up. Yet eventually the vast majority of them traded film for megapixels. The latest digital cameras take pictures so crisp that the images in them appear to be die cut. Even today's humblest smartphones snap bright, sharp photos, a few contemporary photographers, however, have embraced an anachronistic method that was state-of-the-art technology when it was first invented in 1851, wet plate photography. So question 24, the writer plans to add the following sentence to the paragraph, why wouldn't they, to make the paragraph most logical, where should we place? So why wouldn't they? So if you're placing this rhetorical question, you need some reference to the they. So if you start with the beginning of the paragraph, upon the arrival of the camera, the photographers complained that it produced these ugly low resolution images. Would you put why wouldn't they after one? It really doesn't reference the they, it doesn't really make sense. How about after two? Yet eventually the vast majority of them traded film for megapixels. This looks much better because the vast majority of them, the photographers, even though originally they were reluctant to embrace digital cameras. Eventually, the vast majority of them traded their film for these megapixels, and then it goes on here to list all of these advances and, and uh, how sharp and crisp the photos are. So the rhetorical question should be placed after two, referencing the they to the vast majority of them. So it's B for 24. What? Plate photographers essentially create their own film. The process can be dangerous given that it requires the use of several volatile chemicals. To take a wet plate photograph, photographers usually arrange or pose its subjects before mixing col collodion, a viscous, light sensitive chemical solution, with bromide, iodide, or chloride, and applying the mixture to a clean, polished glass plate. So, 25. At this point, the writer is considering adding the following sentence. So right here, considering adding, it's also labor intensive involving several intricate steps. So it really, in the, this, this paragraph, it's all about the process for making these, these wet plate photos. And just from reading it, it seems like it, it, it's dangerous, all these chemicals, and there's lots of steps. And so, dangerous, it requires the use of several chemicals. It's also labor intensive, involving several steps. And if you look again, all of these steps the, in this process, I think this definitely is relevant here because it, it really explains not just it's dangerous, but it's time consuming and takes a while. So let's look at the choices. It serves as an effective transition by reiterating, reiterating or repeating the main idea of the previous paragraph, not at all, definitely not accurate. Yes, because it sets up the paragraph's outline of the process of wet plate photography. This looks good, it does set up the outline because dangerous chemicals, but lots of steps. It is relevant and B is the answer. And then here, 26 is a grammar-based question. Photographers usually arrange or pose its subjects. Whose subjects are they? The photographers. So. The it's with the apostrophe is a contraction, that is it is, it doesn't really make any sense here. And it's their subjects, the photographer's subjects, possessive, and so the answer is D. And we'll do one more question on this page, number 27. Dried collodion is unusable, so once the photo is snapped with a massive tripod mount mounted camera, the photographer has nominal minutes to develop it using more chemicals. So we'll do 28 as well. So 27 here, this is a transition question. It's unusable. So once the photo is snapped, the photographer just has a few minutes to develop it. And if you look at it, so it looks good because it's sort of a cause and effect. 
you look at the other choices, we have a but, there's definitely no contrast, and is a conjunction, it's, it's just connecting it. Four, you may be tempted to pick four, but this really means because, just think about it like that. And so if you go back and put a because in here, the dried collodion is unusable because once the photo is snapped, the photographer has a few minutes, no. So is really a cause and effect, and this is the correct choice. It's A for 27 no change and the last one is addiction question so once we go back here once the photo is snapped the photographer has nominal minutes to develop it using more chemicals you really want to say he just has a few minutes so it's really important that he process this expeditiously this is really nominal doesn't is not the correct word nominal minutes we really want to say he's just a just a few minutes and it, we do see few here but then we also see mirror and mirror really i think emphasizes more how crucial the time is and and how few minutes he has so i think between these two few is correct but you really want to emphasize that time is really the essence in this process so i think mirror is a better choice and so the answer is d there